so today I'm going to talk about the uh, R4i, which is a uh, flash card or game card for um, for the Nintendo DS. And uh, I bought this flash card online a few days ago, and um, this thing basically allows you to play um, games, homebrew games, on your Nintendo DS. You can also uh, watch uh, uh, videos, uh, movies. You can listen to music. Uh, there's also a memo an organizer, an alarm, and a lot of different other applications. Oh, you can also um, read comics on this thing. So yeah, I'm going to show you the uh, what this thing does. So let me unpack this. So in the pack, they give you uh, your R4i and um, your SD card reader. And uh, this is what the R4i looks like. This thing has a slot for a uh, micro SD card. Uh, one of one of these. This. Um, so basically, you load up your files on this thing. You put it in the slot here, and you put it into your um, your Nintendo DS. So I'm gonna put this into my DS in the back here. And then you. Load it up. So once the once the uh, DS loads up, you just press start and uh, there. That's the uh, R4i menu. So there's three options. There's games, media, and slot two. Slot two is for your uh, GBA games, and uh, I'm gonna show you what the games menu is like. So here's the games menu. Um, you can select your games. And uh, on the top screen, uh, there's um, you can select your game. You can uh, input cheat codes for your games. If you can see that, uh, you can also make backups of your save files here on the uh, the save option. And uh, there's also a ROM option. I don't know what that is, but yeah. So that's the games part. Let me show you the uh, multimedia features. So you can listen to music on this thing. You select music, preloaded some music onto my SD card. Uh, let's play this song. Uh, you can change the volume here using the X and Y buttons. And this thing goes pretty loud. If you uh, double tap R and hold it, you can forward it. Yeah. Change tracks. WMA files, MP3 files, AAC files, all the audio options. Uh, you can also watch videos on this thing. Uh, here's some. Uh, here's a file to put on. Uh, there's something wrong with the encoding, but um, if you can see clearly. Obviously, you can change the volume on here. You got a volume, you got volume control. Forward, play, stop, etc., etc. Uh, you're gonna have to convert the uh, files on your computer using a program that um, you can get for free, which I will post a link to later. You can also um, view images on this thing. On the top, yeah, stretches out to both screens. Zoom in, zoom out. So you can put on uh, pictures from your digital camera or something, or you can, uh, like what I like to do sometimes, I can put on um, manga or comics and just read when I'm on the train or something.
at the top right to scroll to the next page. Yep, you can zoom in. Uh, there's also a uh, organizer and a memo pad in this thing. You go to the Moonshell folder and select moonshell2.nds. Ignore the error message. So you can see there's a morning timer. which allows you to set a bunch of uh, alarms according to your schedule. You push LR and select. You get the options to uh, yeah, set what kind of alarms you want. You can also choose what kind of music you want to play. The schedule, for example, etc., etc. Different settings. Um, there's also a men memo on this. Uh, if you press the start button, go to open memo list and start drawing. You can create a to-do list, save the image, and just view it later. Yeah, so this is quite useful because uh, you can use this as like an organizer or to-do list or just a quick notepad when you're on the go. So overall, um, this R4i game card combined with an SD card gives you a lot of uh, flexibility, gives you a lot of um, uh, 